How are you lovely Nova Crawlers doing today? My name is John. Welcome to a wonderful episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. This is one of the only series on YouTube where I take your questions about the zombie storyline and answer them. Whether you have a big, a small, or a simple question, I'm more than happy to answer it. So please do go ahead and leave your questions down below. Maybe I'll see it, and maybe I'll answer it. You may be in the next episode. Now, if you want, there are two ways you can submit your questions. The first way is to tweet me at JohnnyJ25. I'm always checking my Twitter. It's one of the best ways to get in touch with me. While you're there, maybe follow me at JohnnyJ25. Just saying, hint, hint. Another thing you can do is also leave them down in the comments below. Either way, you may be in the next episode. Let me just make a quick note real fast. I am trying to get a lot of the Indiegogo perks set up. And if you bought a perk, please do check your email. I'm trying to get in touch with some of you however I have not heard back from some of you thus I can't get some of the perks organized please do check your email if you donated to the Indiegogo without further ado though let's begin with the episode we're gonna kick today's episode off with a question from Max Jaquint and I apologize if I mispronounce your name but he asks could Hudson be the shadow man in Black Ops 3 zombies since we see the poster of him with the mark the characters have on them so he's referring to this poster right here, and this was released when Black Ops 3 was announced. I believe you can get this poster by pre-ordering the game. There were some Reddit leaks that suggested that the man on this poster is Hudson. And when you look at Hudson, he does look like Hudson. He has that sort of signature white shirt, black tie. This is Hudson's look. And there was sort of this thought that, oh, this is Hudson. Maybe Hudson will be in Black Ops 3 Zombies. And then there were Reddit leaks that suggested that Hudson will be in Zombies, and he'll be a part of this corporation that, when attempting to create immortality, actually created Zombies. And there would be this idea that the cursed survived. And none of us really knew what that meant, and a lot of us, myself included, believed these Reddit leaks. And as we learned more about Shadows of Evil, I'm starting to think that these Reddit leaks were false. And if that's the case, then there is the possibility that this man in the poster is not Hudson. Now, of course, like I said, he does look like Hudson. He has Hudson's signature attire, and maybe Hudson will be in Black Ops 3 Zombies, but it's hard to say for sure. Looking at this poster, though, is this man the Shadow Man? I don't think so. The person is holding the card, and the fact that he's holding the card indicates that he has some kind of power or some kind of influence. He is relatively important, whoever is in this poster. However... He kind of looks more like a zombie than he does a figure of the shadows. You'd think the Shadow Man would be something darker, something more mysterious. And while maybe he works with the Shadow Man, I just don't necessarily think he is the Shadow Man. And it would seem weird that Hudson from the Black Ops 1 campaign is the Shadow Man. That wouldn't really make too much sense. It's hard to say for sure, though. Now, of course, we do need to remember that Hudson died in the Black Ops 2 campaign, so... How he's alive in Black Ops 3 Zombies is kind of hard to say, especially when we don't exactly know what time period Black Ops 3 Zombies takes place in. That's the trouble. So is this man the Shadow Man? I'm gonna say probably not. Is this man Hudson? There's a good chance. The next question we have comes from Christian Finkel who asks, Hey John, in the giant trailer, after Richtofen shoots himself, Dempsey says, Damn it, I thought we were done with this. Does that mean that they've already tried and failed? Please answer. Well, Christian, because you have so many likes and you asked so nicely, I will answer your question. In the giant cutscene, Richtofen steps out of the teleporter and he shoots himself. Dempsey is then pretty angry. And what it is, is the fact that they're really just annoyed with Richtofen's nonsense and Richtofen's shenanigans. Richtofen's sort of keeping them out of the loop. Richtofen is calling the shots and he's not exactly saying what he's doing as he's doing it. He's just acting. And Richtofen has sort of been this way since the beginning, and they're kind of frustrated with him. They thought they were coming there to awaken the test subjects, and Richtofen, keeping this information secret from everyone, is actually there to kill his future self from an alternate dimension. I know that sort of starts to get weird and complicated. We're not exactly sure how that will affect things from here on out, but it's just because they're frustrated with Richtofen. Richtofen isn't telling them what they're doing. Richtofen has his own agenda that he's keeping secret from everybody else, and Dempsey is pretty upset about that. So, as far as Richtofen's concerned, everything is going according to plan, but for everybody else, they're just confused and hoping to survive the oncoming horde of zombies that they're about to face. We're gonna end today's episode with a question from Josh Chamberlain, who asks, John, I have a question. How is the exo-zombie storyline and the main storyline connected? Well, Joshua, they're not. I get this question a lot, and I figure now that Exo Zombies is coming to a conclusion and that we have Black Ops 3 coming up with a whole new story, 
I figured I'd answer it once again. I had already done it in the past, but I figure let's just set the record straight. Exo Zombies is a completely different and independent story from Treyarch Zombies. For starters, they're made by two separate studios. Exo Zombies is made by Sledgehammer, Treyarch makes their regular zombies that we've been playing for years. In addition to that, they're also sort of in their own little realms. Exo Zombies it takes place in the world of advanced warfare. Treyarch Zombies sort of takes place in its own world. It's just kind of like the world that we live in. The world that goes from World War II up until the future and part of now. That's where Treyarch Zombies resides. Exo Zombies resides in a world in which history happened as normal, but through some random series of events, Exo Zombies and Advanced Warfare happen. So these things are in their own little worlds, and we have all these different pockets of time and all these different universes within the Treyarch Zombies storyline. And it isn't too far fetched to say that, in the same way that there are a bunch of different zombie universes, there's also a bunch of different Exo Zombie universes. And that's kind of what's going on here. It's the many universe theory, and if you're not familiar with it, it basically goes like this. For every action, you have multiple options to respond to that action. And every option is its own separate universe in which that action plays out. So if you can imagine, there are billions and trillions of different universes because every time something could have happened, that could have becomes its own realm. And time just takes many different routes and avenues. And one resulted in a world of exo zombies, and another resulted in a world of Richthofen going absolutely insane. So. These stories aren't really connected, they're made by two separate studios, but it isn't too far-fetched to say that they kinda just are different universes, but in a way, all reside in the same sort of loop that we'll call the Call of Duty multiverses. Anyway, that's gonna wrap things up for this episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, possibly subscribe. I upload multiple episodes every week, and if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll love the next one. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, please do check your email if you donated to the Indiegogo. I'm trying to get all the perks rolled out, and it's be a little bit difficult because some of you are not getting back to me. Um, that's about it though. You can leave your questions down below or tweet me with them at JohnnyJ25 and while you're there, maybe follow me. Hint, hint. I'm gonna go though. Have a wonderful day and bye.